Hey Defenders, welcome back. So in the previous video, we installed our GRR server, deployed a GRR client, and ran a, a basic scan to extract a file that was on our endpoint. Uh, and in this video, I wanna kinda demonstrate kind of how we can incorporate Wazoo, ClamAV, and GRR to, to demonstrate how these tools can work together to really give us insight into what's going on onto our system. So stick around and we'll jump into it. And all right, so I have uh, I have just a, a Linux host here. Let's pretend for the, the purpose of this demo, this is a some application server uh, that is running within my data center. So let's say someone has tried to download malware on onto the box or has downloaded a file that ClamAV has detected as being malicious. So so from our endpoint perspective, let's go ahead and replicate that. So I have ClamD running already. However, I need to start the Clam on access scanning and I'll use the move flag to say, hey, ClamAV for any files that you, files, executables, binaries, whatever, that you uh, deem as malicious, let's go ahead and move it into this temp malicious directory. So it, this is a way for ClamAV to quarantine files within real time so that they cannot be accessed, accessed by the user. And again, this is a directory owned by the root user. So, and well, of course, if someone's already root on your box, then you have bigger issues. And now let's actually go ahead and extract some malware. So let's go ahead and do, let me cd into my op directory and let's do a wget if I have one. Doesn't look I do, like I do. So let me grab our icar test file here, which will trigger initially a, uh, a clam AV alert, right? So if I copy this guy, I'll do a wget. Uh, oh, insufficient. Sorry. Let me do a no check certificate flag. All right, so I've downloaded that. However, it of course does not reside within our op directory, right? ClamAV has detected it and moved it into our malicious directory, right? So it's uh, quarantining this file. And so, but of course this, I would have to be on the endpoint to see this, right? And our InfoSec team is not gonna be logged on to every server to be able to extract alerts. And that's where Wazoo now comes into benefit here. So on my Wazoo console here, we're uh, filtered on our specific host. If I now go into security events here, and we'll load the last events, we will see that our clam AV alert has, has triggered. Right, so here we get our Wazoo alert saying, hey, ClamAV has detected a virus on this Linux host. And if we expand this out, we can see that it, just in this example, it's it's hit on the ICAR signature, right? And so where where do we really go from here? Like this is all well and good from a from a security perspective, right? So I get a you know met maybe an email, a an output to a, a Teams or Slack channel or whatever the, the output method, output alerting method of choice, tool of choice is, right? Where our now our InfoSec team gets this alert and says, okay, well, kind of now what, right? So now I know, uh, now maybe I want to actually investigate what this file is or what it's trying to do, right? Maybe I want to extract it and upload it into a sandbox Maybe I want to look at the strings of the file, right? So what, what, now to get further analysis, we know that the malware has been quarantined by ClamAV and it hasn't been ran, but let's go ahead and, and do a little further investigation on this. And this is where we use our GRR tool to really take advantage of that. So if I go into our Linux host here, I'll start a new flow. I will select our file system I'll select the file finder and now we'll ask for a path and this path will be since and this path will be where the malware has been written to and since we've specified clam AV say hey any file you see as malicious let's go ahead and move it into this directory so that'll be our universal path of, across all of our systems to where clam AV will move will quarantine files that it thinks that it sees are malicious so now let's say okay I want to now let's 
let's run let's run GRR to now grab that file for us. So I'll go ahead and point to the directory and I'll just say a wildcard at the end. They accept the asterisk character here. I'll go ahead and select download. So I'll tell uh, GRR, hey, I want you to download this file so I can see it. And then we'll click launch. So now GRR is reaching out to this endpoint here and saying, hey, give me all the files that are within this temp malicious directory. Because again, this is we saw we initially saw our wazoo alert saying clam av virus detected we know as part of our clam av deployment how we run clam av is we say okay any files that you see malicious i want you to quarantine into this particular directory and so now now i want to i, I want to see more about the file right because with wazoo i would see file changes so if we go into our integrity monitoring here so if we go into our inventory here we see this file exists so if I say temp malicious we see this file exist right so we see this within wazoo we get some metadata around the hash value and stuff but we can't extract this file I can't you know if it's if it's a clear text bash script for example I, I wouldn't be able to see any of that details without jumping onto the endpoint and manually extracting that file where GRR, this tool, is now doing this for us. Uh, so it looks like this is finished and it has completed with one result. Again, we only have one file within there, that just being the icar.com file. So that looks good. Um, and now we can see the results of this. So here we see our icar.com file. And if we select this guy, we can now get some more metadata around around the file um, but let's actually let's view the contents of the file and here we can do that right here so if we also open up the icar.com well actually it might be yeah so so then if we manually open up this file and compare the two right we, they are exactly the same so GRR is able to extract this file and we can see the file in if the file is in clear text we can see the contents of it. We can also download the file to our local system. So we could, let's say, you know, maybe it's a binary and we say, okay, let's run this into a sandbox. In future videos, I'll detail integrating with GRR's API so we can uh, do some automation behind this. But for this example, we can also download it to our local host, right? Which of course, yeah, be, be cautious because uh, especially if it is legitimate malware, this is a, a process I would do within a, a sandbox environment or a you know a Windows a Windows host that is isolated from the network and it doesn't pertain and is just a blank OS install right it doesn't actually have any of your business related uh, data on it right because if you do accidentally execute this and it's some type of malware that exploits a, a Windows server and it actually pertains to you you would in fact infect yourself so be careful when doing that but we can also down, manually download the file if we want to and then of course see the text view and then the hex view as well uh, which is pretty cool so we can also do it let's also get some real malware on this box because icars are boring so I'll go back into my op directory and let's go to our malware friend here and I'll just grab this pony stealer that's kinda cool copy and we'll run a wget to this guy. I will then extract this guy. And we see clam av has hit on it. So we'll go back into, now let's see if Wazoo has hit on this to where clam av has detected an alert. And of course we're forwarding those to our Wazoo manager. So we'll get that output here as well. So if I go back into events here, we'll see clam AV virus detected and it's this ransomware Hermes signature uh, that clam AV triggered on. So let's say, okay, so, all right, we see this malicious file. Now let's extract this guy. So, so we've got an alert saying, hey, a malicious file has hit your box, claim maybe has quarantined it, but let's do some further, some further investigation and actually dig into the contents of this. So if we, we can start a new flow here, go back into file system, file finder, and slash temp slash 
malicious and I'll just use the wild card again and I'll say download and let's go ahead and launch this and then again GRR the server is now telling the agent hey agent I want you to forward me any files that are within the temp slash malicious directory because again that is our quarantine directory that we have created for silence and all right, so that's completed and we see with two results. So it looks like it's found our file. So that's good. So if we go back into results here, we see our ICAR file because that still exists. And now we see our new file that uh, Silence moved over, which is this ransomware. So if we select this guy here, let's see what the text view looks like. I'm sure it's going to be all jumbled. Yep, because it is a because it is not a clear text file. It is some type of executable. And immediately going into the hex view, we can immediately see there looks to be some DLL bundled with it as well. So that's interesting. And then what we can do, because this isn't a clear text file and easy to see, right? I can now throw this up into my Cuckoo sandbox and actually let the malware run. And then we can really get some insight in, into what's going on. So I'll do a future video that kind of handles that automation. Again, you do have the ability to download, but... Uh, in the event that you actually are downloading real malware, uh, be very cautious with that. But yeah, I think that wraps it up for this video. I just kind of wanted to show you guys kind of a real life scenario of how these three tools, ClamAV, Wazoo, and GRR, can be bundled into your security stack to really give you full insight into what's going on. So some features that one particular tool can't do are other tools that can do those said features that you're looking for and can be incorporated together and to, to really give you full insight into what's going on and give you the ability to perform this forensic investigation and really kind of detail what is going on. So I hope that helps you guys uh, in your own analysis and investigation. And I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one.